Good morning, Debbie. How are you? Hi there, Jenny. I'm so glad to have you back. We missed you last week, but we had a really good time. And glad to be back. Yeah, yeah. So um, you met last week. Um, I wanted to talk today about a phone call that I received from an incredible gentleman, um, Matt. And it actually was a follow up to when I was in Florida about three or four weeks ago. I had a couple of speaking engagements out there. And no, I'm sorry. Yeah, what's Florida? It was about two months ago. My travels get kind of busy and I forget where I met people at. But anyway, the phone rang and it was the Florida number. And I just, you know, I had a few minutes. So I grabbed the call and boy, was I smiling when I finished listening to this man because I said, hello. And he said, is this Jenny? And I said, yes. And he just took off talking. And I thought, wow, it's a good thing that I have time to listen because he didn't say, how are you? Do you have time to listen? He was so excited. And what had happened with him was he was um, a stage four colon cancer patient. I'm sure you run into people like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're, they're looking for hope. And he had gone through um, all traditional or allopathic therapies and what we call had now failed therapy. And they were telling him to get his affairs, affairs in order and right. really anything they could do for him. Well, he had heard me talking about some options because, you know, my passion is don't give up. As long as there's breath, there are different things we can do. And, and we need to educate our doctors on things that they can do to help us. And I know that's a big part of what you guys do. And we really just are trying to empower the patient. And, Absolutely. you know, and it's so exciting when when you get a message from someone that it actually they listened and it helped because I had talked about, um, you know, what I call cookbook medicine. Do you get a lot of people that do cookbook medicine? They just go to the doctor and they get the standard therapy for their diagnosis. Right. It's like a blanket treatment. It's not individualized. Right. And so you don't always in the dark. Why right. it doesn't always work for everyone. Well, they had done that with him. And I talked about some genomic testing and I mentioned foundation medicine. And then I mentioned garden three garden 360. Um, and he actually, when they told him it was no hope, he didn't want to die. He wanted to live and he was, down below 100 pounds. He was not able to have bowel movements. It was really, really grave. Anyway, he asked every doctor that he could find that would listen to him to please order this test for him. And finally, one of the doctors ordered this Garden 360 test for him. And it provided a solution. I mean, this is a man who was given no hope. And if he hadn't had this test, he would not know. So I want to talk about, have you heard of the Garden 360 yes, test? Yes, I have. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about what it is, and then we'll say how it helped this man, because someone listening to this right now, it may provide hope for them. Uh, right. Because let me tell you, he's doing so good right now and just had a really quick response to the therapy that this test identified. So um, the test actually looks for around seven, it's a gene panel. And what we're mm -hmm. learning about cancers is that the genes there are gene drivers that are pathways or things that are fueling the cancer to drop, to, to you know, continue to progress and to grow and to take root and to not die like it should, like a normal cell. So he had that he had, it's a blood test. You literally stick your arm out and they, they take a blood sample. They did not. Two tubes of blood. That's it. Yes. And they don't, they don't have to do a, a tumor biopsy. They don't have to go in and get cancer with a surgical procedure or a, you know, a large biopsy, nothing. It's just a simple blood test. Like you get your CBC checked. Right. You no, know, it takes about two weeks to come back. So about two thirds of the people who get this test done from my research will, the test will come up with a therapy suggestion for them. Um, it may be when I'm looking out the DNA. Right. And then Trying to match that match some type of treatment or right or a, a trial, a clinical trial, right? Uh, or a drug. Let's say you have breast cancer, and there may be a drug that treats kidney, not kidney cancer, that treats colon cancer or prostate cancer that works for your breast cancer. It happens to match with that. Right. right. But your doctor would never give you that drug because it's not an approved drug. So it might be called off-label use. 
or a clinical trial that's going on or an immunotherapy that you can't get until you have failed all other therapies. I see. So it's, it's kind of strange. It's, I think it's not right the way we make it so hard to get people the right therapy because in my mind, so, so let's say they, they did the test on him and they found a gene called the RET gene. R as in Robert, E as in Edward, T as in Tom, the RET gene. And then there's a drug called BLU667 that targets that gene. So it's basically like matching. Remember when you're a little kid and you played the little game where you turned a card over and you had a cat and then you had to try and find another card that had a cat to match it. it right. This is a predictive response. It's not guaranteed to work, but let me tell you, it's much better than just going to the shelf and selecting a drug and saying, here, let's try this one. So right. All of a sudden, this man had a, had a drug that targeted the gene that they identified on his cancer cell. So mm -hmm. he got, he was in that two thirds of the people that get this blood test where they can find either an off label drug or a clinical trial or some drug that will actually target specific for him. Um, and he was put into this, to this trial and it's a clinical one, I mean, um, phase one clinical trial, but it's not the A, but it's the B, where they've already done the uh, toxicity dosages. And in the first part of the clinical trial, they're looking for dosages um, so that they can figure out if they can be too much or too little. They're looking at the toxic re you know, response to that. So he started the drug and he got in the trial, which the man was sent home to die. And here there was this answer just down the street. And he is now having bowel movement. And wow. he is gaining weight and he He's has an appetite and the life and the color is coming back into his face. And when he told me all the incredible things uh, that are happening, it's like his, he said his doctors were just, their mouths were hanging open and they were gathering around. They were so excited. But the thing was, they could have done this with him years ago. Right. This man has, cancer is no fun and he has suffered and, so we as a public need to become educated on every tool that's out there and we need to use our voices and we need to demand the best because I understand that they don't want to give you these tests until you failed all therapy, but this needs to be a standard. Um, tell me about the article you read on Gardent uh, 360. I read that um, it's on a fast track now to be approved by the FDA. Right, right. As, as right ahead to the top priority, and this could be the first FDA-approved liquid biopsy. Right. You know, we say the word liquid biopsy, and we'll be talking more about those. That just means instead of a tissue biopsy with a needle stuck into your skin to get out the tumor, it's a blood test. Right. Um, there is another FDA-approved, um, I call it a liquid biopsy because it's a CTC test, and that's cell search. And I really okay. want to explain about that because that test – it, it, it is a liquid biopsy and it is FDA approved, but it is not very sensitive and it will not find cancer until it's metastatic and it's limited to certain types of cancer. So okay. I think it's a much better option for people who are looking for um, the tumor cell count. But today I just was so, so, so excited about that this gentleman asked for this Gardent 360 test because if he had- so This is for um, a solid tumor cancer, correct? Right. Well, you know, they they're doing more and more with blood. They can do look at biopsies on bloodborne cancers, on leukemias, okay. um, on all sorts of cancers. There's always a question about the blood brain barrier, if it's a, um, a brain tumor. But, you know, to me, why wouldn't somebody want to get the best therapy in the beginning and right. waiting and failing all the other stuff and buying all that and going through the mouth sores and then diarrhea and all the problems and then they say okay well now now since you all that didn't work let's give you something targeted so i, I i'm so looking if someone's diagnosed at a later stage stage three or four mm -hmm. and they had no idea they had cancer this is wonderful because right wow. from the beginning they can try and match their treatment to their dna uh right exactly you know and, and my my i love more of an uh, integrative approach to cancer. Uh, and this is definitely traditional. This is one of the new immunotherapies and it usually has less side effects than traditional chemotherapy, which we know can really um, 
take someone who's sick and make them sicker. Right. Uh, and that's why you do what you do at Beat Cancer. And that's why I'm educating people on testing. But, you know, he, this man, he can rebuild his immune system when we get, he gets rid of the cancer. And I'm going to plug him in with you guys so that y'all can help him do that because he is uh, just super, super, super excited. Now, I will say about, what, 15% of people that get the test, they, they are not able to identify a match. So it's not 100% that they find um, something that can help you. I kind of read, though, as their DNA changes with the cancer, they could be tested again oh, yeah. and then be identified because it does change. Right. And there could be different targets that are that are driving the tumor. And there could be a new therapy that came out that wasn't on the list when you right. had this in the first place, because we are helping cancer patients to live for many, many years now. Uh, but the idea is to get rid of that tumor. And I thought it was interesting because they said the more people that test and the more information they get, the more they can build up the treatments and um, the, how the DNA is changing and they just get more and more information it's, and it just gets better and better then. So that's very exciting. It is so, so, so exciting. So anybody out there listening who thinks there's no hope, ask for this test. And it is that we are getting insurance coverage for it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, check with your carrier and file an appeal if they won't pay for it or do a GoFundMe, do whatever you have to do to try this because you might, you might literally find something that is life-saving. Right. Life -saving. And I think I read this is available in 20 countries. I think like 30. It's 30 I mean, countries. Really and it's not the only two. It's reported topic. by 20 clinical outcome studies and available in 30 countries. So yeah. that's why they fast tracked it, you know, right. To be, right. By, the, by the FDA because there's so much clinical background to support it. So, Right, right. And, you know, there are a lot of a lot of labs that are doing this type of testing. And a lot of the companies have a financial support system if you cannot afford to, uh, if your insurance won't cover it to help you with that. So don't ever hear the first price tag and go, oh, I can't do that. Explore all your options because usually um, there is a way to get to get the test. Right. All right. So, so listen, so I want to tell everybody I'm going to be uh, in Plano, Texas at the um, Plano Convention Center. It's the Marty Whittakin has a, a radio show called Healthy by Nature and her and the Dirt Doctor are sponsoring the Home Health and Garden Show September 15th. It's all day at the Plano Convention Center and I'll be there talking. Uh, my friend Doug Kaufman will be there. The Dirt Doctor will be there. Marty Whittakin will be there. Uh, my friends that do the stem cell therapy. Um, if you have uh, you're interested in that, they'll have a booth, come by and see them. So I just given a shout out. So if you're in the Dallas, Texas area, come by, um, go on the uh, Google Marty Whittakin Healthy by Nature and get your tickets. I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks and I'd love to see y'all there. Wonderful. And we're right now working on partnering with diagnostic thermographic imaging to give thermography to people that can't afford it. Um, if you're in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey area, I believe they have a site in Delaware also. Okay. And you would like to try thermography, but you feel like you need help, um, financially covering the cost. Stay tuned and, and go on our website within the next week. We're going to have something up about that. Oh, that would be, that's awesome. Awesome. So that's beatcancer.org. Yes. Um, check for that low cost mammograms in their area. And I always have to give a plug for my book that's coming out October 2nd. Um, and it's got all the testing in it. And if you can go to cancerfreebook.com, you can pre-order it there and they'll give it to you. It's only buy one, get one free. You'll get the, the hard copy and you'll get the e-version plus another little book I wrote called living cancer free made simple. And then always, always check out Cancer Free University, which is what Debbie and I are doing. We are going through. I love Cancer Free University. <laughs> we are going through a lot, of the, a lot of the interviews that I have with these different labs and with different physicians. And, you know, when people get cancer, they think the only, the only option is what they get at one of these big institutions. And they have no idea what goes on behind the doors of some of these integrative clinics and what's going on with tests like like we talked about AMAS and now we've talked about garden 360. Um, and, and I Jenny did such a great job asking every question 
in a simple manner with practical solutions, information, and exactly what somebody would want to know. So right. that's how my brain works. I love it's a great course. Right. If I think of it, I just say it. So if y'all don't know what Cancer Free University is, it's over 70 interviews with physicians, scientists, researchers all around the country on early prevention and um, early detection of cancer prevention. If you have testing, how to um, find out if you're really cancer free, how to find it early. If you want to know if your therapy is working, if you want to find markers, if you want chemosensitivity testing, it is a plethora of different tests that can help you overcome this disease and to, and to live out your life cancer free, because that's my goal is to defeat, is to defeat all disease. And I actually, if you go on and register, uh, if you put in cancer 50, um, there's actually, do you all have a link on beatcancer.org? Yes. You can go there and click on uh, cancer Free university. And then on the checkout page, put in can cancer five zero, and that makes it the enrollment half price. And I think it's like $260. And it, you know, you can't interview one, you can't go to one doctor for maybe 10, 15 minutes for that. And I bring them right into your home. Uh, even James Forsyth, who was one of the best uh, five-year success rates with stage four cancer is on. Tony Jimenez, I mean, I could go on and on. It's really You'll fun. know exactly what it costs, how yeah. long it takes, when you're gonna get it back, and who it's for. Uh, Jenny, <laughs> every question, so it's anyway, so, Yeah, so anyway, there's another thing for you guys. So. We will be back next week and we'll be talking about um, another topic that will hopefully um, sow seeds of health into your life. Debbie, do you have anything to close with? Come to our site, sign up for Cancer Free University and find out about thermography also. Okay. Which is another course in Jenny's. Yes. Another whole talk on Jenny's course. Right. I interviewed Dr. Ben Johnson. When we get fancy enough with his Facebook Live, maybe we'll get him on a four, a three way. Uh, we can bring in some of these guests and have them talk to us as well. So we're learning. Absolutely. It's fun. It's fun living in 2018. So God bless you all. Have a great day. Take great care of yourself and get out there and live cancer free. Bye-bye. Absolutely. Bye, Jenny. Bye-bye.